9 and 10 News at 5 continues. I want to miss <laughs> Those are first grade students from Ever Elementary with a kind greeting this evening. I visited their classroom earlier today and our class classroom weather lesson consisted of rating cloudy with a chance of meatballs and on top of that, of course, talking about the instruments that meteorologists use every day. That's today was just cool. cloudy though. It was. <laughs> no chance of meatballs. Right, no chance of meatballs today. I know a lot of the questions were, okay, can we have it rain candy? Can we have it rain cupcakes? And I wish, but today just gonna, rain. Yeah, <laughs> and we're going to be dealing with a lot of rain and snow that right. these kids are probably going to be keeping a close eye on they in this are. case with snow coming. They are, and I told them, I said, we have a big storm coming on Thursday, and every single one of them said, oh, no. <laughs> They were Which bummed. Is, they were bummed. <laughs> they more don't want snow. any more school. Than I know. Going I know. later than they have to. <laughs> when the first graders say no more snow, well, dang it, we need no more snow. <laughs> Taking a look at Miss Bryant's class, we are going to be seeing the fact that these first graders were so sweet. Thank you very much for having me. And if you'd like me to visit your classroom, of course, you can you always email me at HaleyVaughn at 9 and 10news.com. Now, taking a look at our satellite and radar, we can see there is a mix of rain and snow falling over most of the region with that snow hanging over the eastern upper peninsula and the straits. As it continues to move across the region, it will be dwindling during our overnight hours, but plan on still seeing isolated rain and mix tonight, not accumulating too much. Then we head into your Wednesday. Better weather, partly sunny skies. In fact, clearing up by the time we head into around 1 p.m. on Wednesday, which means perfect for heading outside for lunch or maybe even recess with mostly sunny skies. Then we head back into your Wednesday evening. Those clouds are building back in associated with the system that's going to be making an impact on Thursday. So our wider view, this is 9 a.m. on Thursday. Snow initially starts to move in behind it, freezing rain and rain. We can see that it moves directly up towards the north by right around 6 p.m. We have a clearing down towards our central lower counties, but then another round of rain starts to move in for your Friday, mixed in with a little bit of freezing rain. And then by the time we head later into your Friday, we will be switching back over to snow. So because of that, the winter storm watch is in effect. These do not go into alert until late Wednesday night, lasting until 2 a.m. on Friday. Snowcast wise, we are talking about a few inches of snow, primarily one to three for most of our region, with even more snow towards the western half of our upper peninsula. On top of that, freezing rain will be falling. Could see up to a quarter of an inch possible, which will lead to very slick conditions. So you can always stay updated with us by downloading our free Doppler 9 and 10 weather app or by visiting 9 and 10 newscom slash weather. We actually have a new feature on our app that allows you to look specifically at your hour by hour forecast. Now tonight we are going to be dropping back down to the 20 scattered snow and a little bit of rain moving through. But again, it's not going to be accumulating too much and ending primarily before midnight. Lows dropping back down into the 20s right at 29 degrees in Claire and 32 in Big Rapids. Tomorrow, it's not going to be too much warmer. Upper 30s and lower 40s, but that sun will be shining, which makes it a very nice day. 44 degrees in Kalkaska, 44 in Lake City, 45 here in Cadillac, and 46 degrees in Reed City. A nice day to spend outside, but plan on keeping your eye on that storm that's going to be moving in for your Thursday, bringing windy conditions and the chance for some rain and snow. That will continue into your Friday, changing over to mostly rain, and then by Saturday and Sunday, a little bit of snow in the forecast.